Comics Plus, what's going on? My name is Akasan. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell. I'm here to talk to you about the Suicide Squad. Uh, DC Sun and I just got finished watching it right now. Um, we watched it at home, staying safe. You know, there's about over 5,000 something people a day getting sick in Tokyo. So we thought it'd be the best to just uh, stay in. And it actually doesn't come out um, until next week in Japan. So, um, I thought it'd just be easier just to go ahead and uh, watch the American release um, through HBO Max. Um, we I have some good news and bad news. Uh, so the good news is um, we were able to watch it at home. Uh, but in order to do it, as you guys might remember from doing, I think, the Bad Batch or so, there was an audio problem when trying to film it like this with two microphones and just kind of staring at a computer. So I, I, I had it set up with my... Uh, theatrical lights uh, in the other room um, but given that we were doing it old school style uh, there were some problems with the camera so um, the bad the good news is I have all the audio everything is good but the bad news is if you want to take a look here I have corrupted camera files so if anybody knows how to fix this um, I know you can't actually see it but um, man it's bad. I have some corrupted, like, uh, some of these files. Basically, the camera started stopped a few times. And so I have files that are like MD, uh, uh, MDT files instead of MP4 files. So uh, some of this is working, as you can see. Um, so it, some of it is working. Uh, some of it is good. But in terms of a full reaction... Uh, it's a little bit fucked right now. So um, I think I can give you highlighted clips in the future, but just in terms of a full reaction, I think the audio would probably be the only thing that's going to be working at this moment. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, um, but I wanted to go ahead and go ahead and give you a review because uh, luckily it looks like it's the review that's crapping out the most right now. Um but if anybody knows how to fix those files, please let me know. Let me go ahead and just tell you, because the review, I was going to upload that for you guys right now, but it's not working. So let me just go ahead and just give you a, a kind of a recap of what DC Sun and I thought immediately after the movie ended. Uh, you know, um, is it good? Yes, definitely. It's James Gunn. It's a very solid movie. It comes, it's very different than what you might expect unless you're familiar with his work from even b way before before he joined marvel and everything this is james gunn at his finest sort of back to his roots of what kind of made him kind of like this rude and crude sort of dark humor and sometimes uh ultra violence toxic avenger type of style um that most people know him for um before he went down the disney route now What's cool about it is that the the storytelling is very different than what you would expect, and it's not it's a very uh, uh, unorthodox style of introducing the Suicide Squad as you you're gonna know them. Uh, I'm not gonna get into any spoilers or anything, but it is quite interesting how what a wild roller coaster ride the storytelling is, and it actually works really well. Uh, one of the things that I think that stood out and uh, DC Sun and I were both talking about is the fact that this is might be one of the first times when watching a DC movie where you're not like you're not looking for like Easter eggs and you're not like hoping that you know, Superman's going to show up or Joker's going to show up or Batman. Right. And like the cameos, like it doesn't need big cameos. And I think that's a really strong testament i suppose to the way james gunn sort of crafted this story that um it does a really good job of just telling strong stories without us uh, and character development without constantly reminding you that these characters need character development if that makes sense so particularly harley quinn uh she's not the main focus of this movie but she still gets enough screen time where you're just like, okay, cool, that's good, that's good, you know? Um, same thing with Bloodsport. Everybody seems to get an equal amount of uh, storytelling here, and I think that it works, it really feels like a team sort of movie. Um, 
in the fact that everybody gets an equal amount of shared time and this story helps tell itself and it's not the typical settings that you're used to it's not a giant fight in like a metropolitan metropolis gotham or anything like that so i i think that's what lends it is like it, you go in there and you don't take it too seriously and the the tone of the movie tends to shift halfway through into more of a serious tone but by the time if you're on board if you can get through the sort of like wild and bizarreness of it in the beginning by the time that tonal shift happens, uh, it works well. I think it works really well. Uh, Starro being the, uh, I'd say essentially the big bad of the movie, uh, worked really well. It's got some Bebo feels to it, like, but it, it it's interesting because we talked about this. Starro works well because of this movie, not because of Starro. That's, I think, what's interesting about it. It's really disgusting half the time. Uh, Starro is on around, but it's interesting. Like, I couldn't, I can't imagine Starro being in any sort of other sort of production now, which is very interesting. Uh, King Shark as well, being around, same deal like that. Like, everybody really works well. Um, Polka Dot Man, total standout of the, of the movie. And like I said... You know, Bloodsport, Harley Quinn, uh, Rat Catcher. Like by the end of the day, at the by the end of this movie, you remember these names. You remember these names, and they stand out well without beating you over the head of about the fact that they need to be important. Right? They become important to you without making it a huge point in the movie, and it's very similar to that other. Disney movie, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, where you just learn to really like these people. So uh, I think that that works really well. And the tagline, as in the advertisements, as they said, don't get too attached because you just never know. And that's what's interesting about it as well is throughout the entire movie, you just don't you don't know what's gonna happen. Like there were a, a, there were a few unexpected surprises, um, people that were taken out that. I didn't expect to happen uh, sort of shifts and uh, spins that I didn't think was going to happen. So I thought it, it was very interesting. It was very unexpected and it was very refreshing. Um, then the final big question, and I'm, I'm going to try to get this because I, I have it recorded on my phone with uh, DC Sun and such as we were talking about what do we do with like, this is a very different tone and this was a very it it's very clever the way they sort of introduce the beginning the first couple of minutes of this movie you're just like so this is the direction that warner brothers wants to go with the dceu and it was very clever because at first you're just like this is kind of you know kind of whack uh, kind of weird but it, it's done on purpose like that and I, I was like okay that's nice but this entire movie has a different tone of the rest of the DC movies that you might be familiar with. And is this something that you would want to see in the future for other DC products? And I would say no, not necessarily, but you definitely want to see more of this sort of James Gunn sort of spin and take on things because it, it works really well in his world. But it still looks like a Shazam was brought up. It still looks like this could be the same world as Oh, what's Shazam's uh, in? Um, what uh, Aquaman uh, is in? It still works well. Um, definitely not of what you know Snyder sort of built up, but I think it still stands out. It, it it's definitely doesn't have that same tone as uh, David Ayer's Suicide Squad. But it's something that you can see the you can see them mixing it, and it'll be very interesting to see when the Flash movie comes out, how this all kind of sort of blends. Um, but I think it worked really well for this particular movie, and I think most people are going to really enjoy it. Um, and it's definitely different, that is for sure. So I do recommend you guys check it out. And um, I don't really give any ratings to this or whatever, especially at 2 a.m. in the morning after watching it. We made the big mistake of watching uh, Ash, uh, Ashen of the North, um, the Kingdom spinoff sort of movie ahead of time. We thought it would be kind of cool to do a double feature, but just that particular story 
sort of dragged sometimes and by the time we started we started suicide squad around 10 o'clock at night so uh no 11 o'clock so that was not a great idea but uh it was still entertaining enough and um i definitely recommend it red red nation stand up speak up let me know what you guys thought about the movie uh did you like it did you hate it uh what was your feelings about it uh we'll try like i said um i think the first thing i first and foremost i can do is just go ahead and put the audio on uh, the full audio on patreon for you guys if you want to immediately download that right now um then the full reaction itself might take some time and um again if it's somebody knows how to fix some of those corrupted files then that's the faster we can get some of the clips out there but uh, there, there was some good there was some very good reactionable moments like i said dave as polka dot man it was <laughs> such a standout moment one of his best uh, roles i think all right i'm out of here guys have a great night and have a great weekend peace